Jackson Danzig with us here at the Drama Dola Show. We're talking clutch basketball. Uh, let's talk about when you got the call, like, hey, you still want to play some ball? It's competitive. Like, was it an automatic yes or there a bunch of factors to see if it's going to work for you? Yeah, so I actually kind of knew about it a little bit, um, talking with Logan after I graduated, asking him about it, and then um, I think he put in a good word for me at the Coach Rick Road, and then Coach Rick Road ended up reaching out to me. Um, it was immediate, yes. <laughs> I just wanted to keep playing, you know. Um, love of the game, that ish will never go away. So when I got that call, I immediately jumped on it. You go from your, your high school coach, fantastic guy, uh, over to your college coach, great dad and a great coach, and now Coach Rick Rosen. You've been pretty fortunate. Talk about you know being able to be well-rounded from some of those peeps. Yeah, so uh, very blessed. Um, three all-time coaches, you know, one my dad, um, Coach Kenny Bianchi, breaking records, most wins. Uh, a lot of advice, a lot of wisdom from him, and then you know having the opportunity to play for my dad, um, being able to grow our relationship together, um, that was an amazing experience. And now to be able to play under Coach Rick Rudd, who's had a great legacy, coaching at Wilkes, um, you know I'm just very blessed to be able to have these guys be uh, role models for me. You're the new guy this year, but you know nonetheless. You know, you bring something to this team. There's a respect factor. Talk a little bit about just, hey, I'm going to go in here and, and show them what I got. And, you know, I'm going to find a way to get some minutes on the floor and do what I got to do. Yeah, so the team's really talented. Everyone's really good. We go 10 deep. Um, you know, coming into it, my thought process is I know I'm not the most athletic, but, you know, I could shoot the three. I could, I got a good IQ. So put my, I'm going to help the guys put them in winning positions, making the right play, making sure that uh, – the flow doesn't stop and that uh, I'm helping elevate the team's level of play. The coach would talk and, you know, in a joke way, but at the same time serious about your speed of the game. Like, listen, you're going to play at your speed, which works for you. And, you know, sometimes slowing the game down a little bit is good. Yeah, so uh, definitely a lot of mistakes eventually get to this point where I'm at. Um, I used to be really athletic and I'm not anymore, so I had to figure out different ways uh, to be successful. So I think it's definitely helped. Probably could have cut back on the alcohol a little bit. <laughs> Wouldn't be a little bit more athletic right now, but uh, um, no. But uh, my dad's always—that's what I got from my dad. He said, "Slow the game down, take it one play at a time." You know, one play isn't going to win the game. So being able to make those right plays, put the team in the winning position, is, oh, I take pride in that. What are you impressed about about some of the guys on this squad? Drive, athleticism. Um, the ability to persevere. You know, some days are harder than others. Um, we only practice once a week, so being able to put in that work when we're not together as a team is really important. And uh, a lot of the guys are dedicated to the game of basketball, so it really makes keeps me motivated. And uh, I really love being part of the team. Sometimes there's some tense moments here in the ABA. You know, some technical fouls and different things. Talk about just trying to keep your emotions in check and keeping everybody together on your squad. Like, hey guys. Yeah, we gotta we gotta be a little bigger than this right now. Yeah, so uh, new league, new rules. Um, I'm still trying to figure them out. Honestly, a lot of guys helped me. So, uh, you know, a, I understand when there's tense moments. Uh, since I don't really know what's going on, to the, the specific rules too well, sure. I'm able to bring everyone down, give them to take a breath, to really think it through. So I think I just bring a little a level of calm, calmness to the floor. How about now, as far as your work ethic, you know, hitting the gym, getting a lot of shots, are you doing some stuff in the off days to kind of keep yourself sharp? Yeah, so uh, um, I go over to Clarkson University, the rec gym. I do training there for uh, local kids from the Abington area, um, provide my wisdom, what I've experienced. And then during that time, while I'm waiting or before and after, I'm getting shots up, I'm hitting the gym just to stay in shape. So. Uh, very blessed for this opportunity. So had a lot of time on my hands, but now I just got my first job. So excited for that. So got to figure out another way to fit in the, the exercise. <laughs> well, congratulations. Uh, good to catch up with you. Good to see you playing the game you love. Great. Thank you.